start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Everybody stand up. Okay. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So the first item up is to approve the meeting agenda. Anything needs adjusting on the agenda? Yes. Because of that February 22nd change, um, business item B. Just change the date to February 25th on business items. On the back side. On the February 25th? Yep. Okay. Anything else? Entertain a motion to approve the agenda. I'll make a motion. Motion by Brittany. Do we have a second? A second. Second by Brenda. Any discussion on the agenda? Hearing no discussion. All those in favor of approving the meeting agenda signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same. Agenda carries. Opportunity for visitors to address the board. Anybody like to address the board? It appears so, so we'll move on. Okay, we have some acknowledgments. Uh, School Counselor Appreciation Week, February 7th through the 11th. Thank you to Mrs. Siebels. Anything to add, Brian? Yeah, thank you, Mrs. Siebels, for all her work that she does for our staff and for our students. We appreciate her patience, her flexibility, and uh, her time that she puts into her job. Yes, she's busy. Okay, we'll move on to administrative reports. Uh, elementary principal and AD. Mr. Nelson? Uh, enrollment, we were up to 441. Started the year at 422, so up 19 students from the beginning of the year. We've got a couple more here that have come since the beginning of February, so um, that's a good sign. Uh, Wednesday, we have an instructional leadership team meeting where we will be working on our details for our workshop on Monday. We've been looking at our uh, each grade level has met, looked at their scope and sequence math. That's been our focus this year. And Monday at our workshop on the 21st. Uh, the grade levels will get together, so K and 1 will get together, 2 and 3, um, 4 and 5, and then 6 and 7, and then the opposite, so 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will get together at a different time, and they'll look at the scope and sequence and check out to see if there's gaps. If we're heavy in, say, multiplication, but light in fractions, or um, try to find some holes in our curriculum that we uh, have, so that should be a Good day of workshop there. Um, we'll also be doing another book study on the second half of the top 20 teachers book that we've been reading this year. So I uh, had a great discussion the first time, so I expect the same thing. Uh, February 28th is parent teachers conferences that day, and then snow makeup days will be March 7th and March 21st. Um, activities report, uh, hire junior high golf coach Cole Witzick. Uh, Cole's been junior high football and head wrestling. He's going to be junior high um, golf. Two assistant track coaches, Eli Beachy and Jake Janiszewski, as assistant track coaches for this spring. Uh, wrestling sections will start tomorrow with the team section. They go to Parker's Prairie. The winner of that will advance to New York Mills on Friday for the team part of the tournament. The individual part of the wrestling tournament is the next weekend. Um, basketball, new this year. Colleges still have mass mandates, so the section committee decided they're not going to play any games at Concordia or Morehead State because of restrictions. So the first two rounds will be at the higher seed. Uh, right now it's looking like both boys and girls will host at least one game. The last two rounds for both boys and girls will be at Detroit Lakes in their new gymnasium. So a little different this year with no college venues, but that's because of the mass mandates that colleges have at this point. So.
So I've seen pictures inside the DL gym. Looks nice. Looks like it's big enough to host. So it's a good neutral site for Section 8 AA to play in. So no one's home, home court. So questions? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Finance Director, Mr. Martinez. <coughs> we just finished the month of January 31st. Overall, it's a pretty good month for the school district. Uh, lots of movement with the end of the calendar, calendar year, starting a new, a new calendar year. Um, we started our investment accounts with $5.8 million. Uh, and that was reduced to 4.3 million by the end of the month, and that was due to pulling 1.7 million dollars to meet our bond payment obligation. That is, the majority of it goes into our 2014 <coughs> building bond. And you see that reflection on uh, bond seven debt service there at the bottom. Uh, payroll for the month was 335,000 dollars. Accounts payable, including the bond payment and everything else, with all of our bills. Total 2.34 million. Um, very normal for January. Uh, cash on hand at the end of the month in our bank account was $101,000. Uh, from here on out, up until the end of the year, we just start, we just keep growing our investment. Uh, the next bond payment is due in August. So we have a little bit of time to, to grow our investment and pull the money again to meet that obligation. Um, also, just fast forwarding to the month of February, on February 10th, uh, we, the closing of the abatement bond closed. We received those proceeds and they're sitting in our bank account, so that was another big, big milestone that, uh, that happened. Uh, other than that, like I said, it, it's, it's a pretty good month for us, uh, very busy in terms of closing uh, federal grants and everything that we need to meet those obligations. Uh, so if you see journal entries, you're gonna see a lot of adjustments and everything <coughs> has to do with meeting those federal regulations before we close a grant or spend something on the grant. Uh, payables, overall pretty good. Um, nothing that, that was really out of hand. Uh, one of the things that we're starting to do more in the business world and what I see a big shift to is that a lot of the vendors are starting to now accept ACH payments or electronic payments. So the need to, to print checks is going to eventually phase away. Our accounting system did a major upgrade last month in which we can now execute ACHs at any point in time. Um, so start to see on the board reports more wires and less checks. So, other than that, pretty good month for the business office. Uh, in terms of business items, really we just have business item A, which is a resolution that we have the board approve every single year. That's just to give the district a direction to make any recommendations for reductions if need to. Uh, other than that, pretty good month for us. Uh, any questions regarding the business office? Okay, uh, high school enrollment, we're at uh, 416 students. Uh, we're down four students at the high school. However, we are up 15 students district-wide, so, um, which is good, good news. Um, professional development at the high school, we have PLCs coming up here February 28th. That will be before parent-teacher conferences. We will have Will Sweeney from the top 20. She'll be live via Zoom with, with our staff during PLC time. Parent-teacher conferences on February 28th will be from 12 to 6 p.m. We'll have that uh, held in the Legends Gymnasium. COVID dashboard update, we've been uh, have, have had a small number. We've been um, kind of like a little steady, not been concerning. Um, Sherry Lennis and I meet almost daily, if not every other day, um, to talk about our numbers where we're at. Um, we had about a week there, we had some staff that were out with positive cases, but we were able to find enough subs to cover. So. Um, Student uh, school board representatives, what we did is we have announced it now. We're collecting applications, and um, after the deadline here, then we'll 
collect them, and then we'll sit down with the students that are interested in being part of the school board. Sub pay is on the um, agenda tonight to increase our sub pay. Um, we're trying to be competitive with the area schools with our sub pay. I would say we, we're currently at 125 um, right now, 62.50 for a half day. And we're trying to be competitive with the area schools. I would say we are uh, right now. We're kind of towards the bottom of the area schools surrounding us um, with sub pay. So we want to be competitive. Um, it's very challenging right now to get subs. So I think this would help us out of uh, increasing it by $15 from 125 to 1. 40. So, highly recommend that we uh, increase our sub pay to help continue uh, getting subs here at um, our school district. Uh, Mr. Christensen, um, he's on the agenda tonight um, for retirement. So, thank you to Mr. Christensen. I believe it's 29 years that he's been here. Um, he's done a great job. We appreciate everything he's done for kids in the classroom, to extracurricular activities, to supervising different activities. Um, we will miss him. So he plans to sub, his, his plans right now in retirement, so that will be good to have him um, for subbing. So with the science teaching opening, right now the plan is, the timeline is, is to open it up in March and then collect the applications for two to three weeks and then April uh, interview to hire positions. So we're hoping, you know, either that uh, April or May or May we'll have a recommendation for a hire for a science teacher. Um, also on the agenda tonight is a resolution directing the administration to make recommendations for reductions. That is a yearly thing. What we're doing is, well, when we've started doing it already, we're looking at an, uh, enrollment, looking at our staffing. We want to continue to right size. Um, if we would have any recommendations, we'd make them in the spring here. Um, so right now our enrollment's going up, so that's the good news. So I think we're, we're looking good, being up 15 students. Um, but again, that's just a yearly thing that you have direct us to look at and see if there's anything that we need to make any reductions. Yes. Fundraiser Pool Committee has approached us. They would like to do a Letterman's Jacket fundraiser. <coughs> that would be at um, the Boys Girls Basketball Doubleheader. It's the Pool Committee, and they would like to do that on February 25th, so we changed that date. And what they're doing is getting pledges for every Letterman jacket that someone wears to the event. And they're just doing a fundraiser and they want to kick off their um, new pool campaign. That's what they like to do. So working with the community, I thought it would be a great idea that we work with our community. It's promoting our pool, which impacts our students because our students will be using the pool. And looking at the new pool design, I think uh, a lot of kids will be uh, going to the pool uh, to swim. So I think it would be good. Upcoming events, um, we got mid-quarter. We uh, actually, it was mid-quarter last Friday, but we didn't have school, so we're moving that here to tomorrow, and then February 28th, parent-teacher conferences from 12 to 6, and then March 18th will be end of the third quarter, and we'll be into the fourth quarter. Before you know it, it'll be graduation. So, time's going by fast. Any questions? On the sub pay, Brian, do yep. um, you think we need to even consider something higher than the 140, 70? I mean, I, I don't know financially how things work, but in an effort to try to make us as competitive as possible. Would, would you, were you at first considering something higher than that and you bumped it down? Or? No. I think what we did is we looked at all the area districts and going to 140 would get us to in the top tier. Okay. Um, and I think this would be very competitive with the area schools. We'd be, um, you know, like Rotsy is 130, LP is 130, um, Perm is at 125 right now, Breckenridge is at 150. Uh, Barnesville is at 140, so we thought, you know, right with Barnesville, we thought would be a good fit. So, thank you. Change it the first time. I'm guessing all the other districts are going to increase every time, so yeah. we might revisit this soon again. Yep. Anything else? Any questions for Brian? Okay, we'll move on to the consent items. <coughs> Item A approved board meeting minutes, January 10th, uh, regular meeting. Financial claims, January bills, treasurer's report. Item D, accept donations and the Viking Boutique for $100, Brad and Pat Tolleru. Viking Boutique, $371, Faith Evangelical Lutheran Church, WELCA. 
Item E, personnel, approve the retirement of Jim Christensen as high school science teacher. Approve the hire of Cole Witzig as junior high boys golf coach. Approve the hire of Eli Beachy as assistant track coach. Approve the hire of Jake Janiszewski as assistant track coach. Approve the hire of Derek Nelson as varsity head girls softball coach. Approve the leave of absence for Carly Kirkwood approximately April 19, 2020 to the end of the school year. Approve the substitute certified pay to be $140 for full day and $70 half day effective March 1st, 2022. <coughs> Anything on there needs explaining or it's already been explained? So. I'll move to approve the consent items. Second. Motion by Greg, second by Ann. On the biking fatigue, I noticed the dollar donations. I haven't been in the biking boutique. I think it's over here somewhere, but would the school prefer like uh, money donations versus actual clothing and other personal effects? I mean, is there a way that the school can utilize funds that can maybe bring more stuff to the boutique versus me, for example, donating three shirts? Any thoughts on that? I think right now they'll take both. They'll take either one. Okay. Um, not really a preference because if it's clothing, someone you know, it's going to go to a use. If it's money, then it's going to go to a use of like we need some more of these items, you know, yeah. toothpaste, uh, things like that. So what they're short on. So I think both would be good. <clears throat> so money doesn't create like a practical difficulty. It allows the staff to kind of monitor what goes low in inventory, perhaps, yep. and then. Yep. Uh, can I add something to that? <clears throat> they did um, open one at the elementary as well. <clears throat> and so there's items in there. And so like if we get a donation, sometimes it'll be like, okay, we're short on this size of sweatpants. So then they'll use those funds to get that item that they're short on. Uh, but we've had a lot of people donate items as well, which has been very appreciative. Um, a lot of hats and gloves have gone out here the last couple weeks. and. Um, a lot of our new families coming in, um, coats, hats, gloves, snow pants, everything. So it's getting those kids equipped to go outside. So I've been very appreciative at the elementary as well. Thank you. Anything else? Okay, we have a motion and a second. Hearing no further discussion. All those in favor of approving the consent items as read, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same. Consent items carry. Two business items left. As mentioned earlier, the uh, we need to approve the resolution directing the administration to make recommendations for reduction in programs and positions and reasons thereof. So I just read that, and that's exactly what's highlighted here. As far as I know, I think we've read this nearly every year I've been on the board. Um, so I'll entertain a motion. <coughs> by Greg. I'll second. Second by Brittany. Okay. Again, this resolution directed the administration to make recommendations for reductions in programs and positions and reasons thereof. And it'll be a roll call vote. So Ann, how do you resolve? Yes. Greg? Yes. Brenda? Yes. Molly? Yes. Brittany? Yes. And I'm a yes. So it carries. Item B, approved Letterman's Jacket Fundraiser by the Pelican Rapids Pool Committee at the February 25th Boys Basketball Game. It's actually going to be a doubleheader night now. Uh, so it should be a great night, a great night to do that. So. I'll make a motion to approve the fundraiser. A second. Motion by Ann, second by Brenda. Any discussion on the Letterman's Jacket fundraiser? <coughs> no discussion. All those in favor of approving it, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, same. And it carries. Next item up will be upcoming meetings. We have a March 21st, 2022 regular meeting and an April 18th, 2022 regular meeting. And that's it. So I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion by Greg. 
Second by Brittany. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, all those in favor of adjourning, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, say more adjourn.